Oh, yeah. This is Iron Blade. The big sword. I don't have enough legendary keys. I do have them though. I have 50. Oh, that's legendary hunter chest. Okay. That did not help. Well, it did help actually. Excuse me. What's up, guys? And welcome to the weekly Q&A. I'm going to do something a little different today, a little special. I'm going to do 25 questions instead of my regular 10. And they're all going to be about The Last Jedi. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, turn this video off right now. Like, right now. Darum asks, do you think we'll be seeing any more of Snoke in this trilogy, be it via flashbacks or some kind of Force sorcery? What about another meme? If not, do you think his origins will be explained more thoroughly? I think that he will not appear in Episode 9. I think that for this trilogy of films, he's done Matters it's a long way to 165. I don't know if I'll make it there, but I'm going to try. I think that we as fans deserve to get answers about him. I think we deserve to know kind of who he is and where he came from, but mostly how he rose to power. Uh, so I would expect that we're going to get a book about him, probably just Snoke, kind of like the book of Tarkin or Phasma. Or a fucking. Uh, I do think that her being so. Nah, I'm so much better, man. But it's not a prerequisite. So if it turns out that that's the truth, I'm fine with it. Sam Cantor asks Who were Princess Leia's allies in the outer rim? Boss on an auto. See what happens. Heroic on auto. Hoping would show up only because I've been theorizing this. And even that theory, I think, is kind of wild and out there. I wanted it to be the Chiss. I wanted perfect the block. One auto, three stars. Uh, it can play for you now. So <laughs> it's so stupid. Just because if they came in, where they were like, the Chiss ascendancy is here. Most of the theater would be like, what? And it'd be me and a few other people standing and cheering. Most people would be confused, but. Knowing that the Chiss are actually beyond the Outer Rim, I I just was kind of thinking that maybe there was a slight chance. Uh, but yeah, they kept saying we had allies in the Outer Rim. Even in the Project Resurrection uh, DLC for Battlefront 2, Leia sends Zay Versio off to find their allies in the Outer Rim. And nobody showed up, so yeah, what's going on there? I don't know. I'm guessing that the allies they were referring to are just people. Anthony Sardinus, again, do you think Captain Phasma is dead? Yeah, I kind of do. Me I am not happy about it because the Phasma book and the Phasma comic built her up to be this unstoppable force. I was like, for sure, the Black Jedi is going to do her justice. They fixed her. She got the short end of the stick and the Force Awakens. And in The Last Jedi, she's going to come back stronger than ever. Nope, was wrong about that. I thought that she was the weakest part of the film. And I am bummed that she uh, she technically beat Finn. Got to the face, I was really distracted. Like she was laying there on the ground. I was like, get up, get up, Phasma, please. Like, just do something cool. I want her to have something cool on the big screen. Why can't they translate her badassery from the books and the her badassery the film? Why is that so hard? So, yeah. Big I, stick. 
I think it's highly unlikely that she survived a fall into an explosion where nothing but the empty vacuum of space was hidden. I think she's most likely dead. Josh McIntyre asks, between spotting all the characters from Canto Bight in the film, seeing Luke's compass from Battlefront 2, his fishing spear from Luel in The Legends of Luke Skywalker, what was your favorite little nod to something from the wider canon? Great question. Honestly, Christmas tree in the fortress. What do you need? No pen. I have no pen. Oh, penny. No, I don't think so. There's some in the. I mean, they saw what he did in the film, and then Ken Liu, who wrote The Legends of Luke, was like, oh, you know, it would be cool is if I kind of touched on the origin story of how he learned to fish, which isn't exactly the point of that story, but that is actually further proof that. That story about the tide and all that uh, is almost certainly true because the Legends of Luke Skywalker book is supposed to be full of tall tales, but that one seemed like it was a first hand account. I think it was a true story. So that just uh, lends further, further credence to that theory. Roy Beasley wants to know if Luke put the Jedi books on the Falcon when he went on there to reminisce, or did his apparition do it? I think Ray did it. I think that Rey didn't trust Luke with those books. She wanted to learn, and he wasn't giving her what she needed, so she went and she took the books and put them on the Falcon and left. And then Yoda, when he saw that Luke was going to burn the tree and then hesitated, uh, Yoda probably made the tree and set it on fire because he's a funny little guy. Anthony Sardinas asks, How do I think Rey will make her new lightsaber, and what color do I think? I think there are probably schematics or instructions in those Let's see how he how automatic does against three legendary troop leaders on tier five. I think it won't work. We'll see. Here we go. What color will it be? I don't know. Um, I think blue or green is the most likely. But what I am more excited about the potential of besides the color is, I mean, and a lot of people have said this, I want her to build a double-bladed lightsaber. I think that would be really cool and would fit her skill set. Ben Stoneman asks, will we see more Force Ghosts in Episode 9, aside from Luke, as I assume that's a certainty. I really want to see Anakin. Um, yeah, I think we're going to see more Force Ghosts. I also think, slash hope, that Luke is a certainty. I'm not ready to say goodbye to Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker. I'm no one is, dude. I was really hoping we would see, like, a ton of Force Ghosts in this movie. Uh, Yoda we saw Yoda. I felt vindicated for that. I was hoping that Obi-Wan was going to step out of that tree when Luke kind of hesitated. Uh, and then, you know, why not, like, Anakin can pop out and then Trigon. Like, I would love to see all of them. But, Me too. Yeah, I don't think we're done with Force Ghosts. Although, it's tough to say. I think it's... Like you said, I think Luke definitely will show up. I, get down I don't know if we're going to get... I know, I gotta get going. That. It's three o'clock. Anthony yeah, Sardinas, yeah, the five Jedi that Kylo yeah, took from Luke's school to make the Knights of Ren. I think they don't use lightsabers since they're Jedi. Uh, I remember Luke saying that Kylo took a handful of his students and killed the rest. So we don't know for sure that that handful 